Hello everyone, this question has been taken from Ayurvedo Fundamental Equation of Dynamics, question number 71. The question says, a pulley fixed to the ceiling of an elevator car carries a thread whose ends are attached to the loads of masses M1 and M2. The car starts going up with an acceleration W0. Assuming the masses of the pulley and the thread as well as the friction to be negligible. Find the acceleration of the load M1 relative to the elevator shaft and relative to the car. The force exerted by the pulley on the ceiling of the car. So we have made a free body diagram of uh, this elevator car. This complete rectangular shape car is here. This whole car is moving with respect to the elevator shaft. The elevator shaft is attached to the building and building is attached to the ground. So you can say that this W0 is the acceleration of the car in the upward direction with respect to elevator shaft that is with respect to ground. If this is the pulley, the blue color is the pulley, red color is the thread by which it is attached to the ceiling of the car. F is the tension force in this thread. This black color thread is passing across the pulley on one side mass M1 is hanging, the other side is M M2 is hanging. W is the acceleration of mass M1 with respect to the car. Means the person sitting inside the elevator car will see that M1 is moving upwards with an acceleration W. So since M1 is moving upward with an acceleration W, the same person will see that this M2 is moving in the downward direction with acceleration W. T is the tension force in zone. So let us solve this problem. What is to be found? W1 we have notated that W1 is the acceleration of the mass M1 with respect to elevator shaft means outside means ground and W already has been mentioned that it is the acceleration of mass M1 with respect to the car. So we have made the three body diagram of the pulley so which all forces are acting on the pulley? One is the tension force in the red color thread, that is F. And these two tension force T in the downward direction. So we are writing the Newton's law of motion in the vector form for the pulley. So you know that summation of all the forces is equal to mass of the pulley into acceleration of the pulley. Since this pulley is directly attached to the ceiling, so it will be moving up with an acceleration W0. So we have written this F plus 2 into T is equal to mass of the pulley that is 0 into W0. So F is equal to minus 2T. So this is equation number 1. Now we will take into consideration the free body diagram of mass M1. So on mass M1, tension force is acting in the upward direction. We have already notated that uh, W1 is the acceleration of uh, mass M1 with respect to the elevator shaft, that is with respect to the ground. And M1G is the force which is the gravitational force on mass M1. So again, we will write the equation of motion in the vector form in the vector form for mass M1 as well. 
So summation of all the forces in the vector form like T plus M1G will be equal to mass of mass M1 into W1. So this is equation 2. Similarly, we will write the equation for mass M2. And we get this equation 3. Now you know from the relative motion concept that acceleration of mass M1 with respect to elevator car will be acceleration of the mass M1 with respect to the elevator shaft minus acceleration of the car with respect to the elevator shaft. So we have written this. And finally we got equation 4 that is W1 is equal to W plus W0. In the same fashion, we will use for mass M2 as well and from there we will get this equation W2 is equal to W0 minus W. You can go through the write-up by yourself. Write-up is for, the, for your convenience in understanding. So if we add this equation 4 and 5, we will be getting W1 plus W2 is equal to 2 into W0, all in the vector form. And we will subtract equation 3 from 2. If you go in the previous page and subtract number 3 from number 2, you will be getting this equation. And finally, you will be getting W1 is equal to this. M1 minus M2 into in bracket into g in the vector form plus 2 into m2 into w0 divided by m1 plus m2. So this is your first answer which has been asked in the question. Now second answer is the for the w okay the acceleration of mass m1 with respect to the car. So that is w. So we will use equation number 4 w is w1 minus w0 w1 the value of w1 we will be putting from here so you will be getting this so this is your another answer now to get the force exerted on the ceiling by the pulley that is f we will use equation number 3 first and we will get the value of tens and force T. T is this. And if we use this value of T in equation 1, we will be getting this. So this is your part B answer. So hopefully the concept is very clear to you and you have understood the way to solve this problem in an easy way. In case of any doubt, you can write in the comment box. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you.